eDrawings allows you to communicate your SOLIDWORKS models with people that don't have SOLIDWORKS. You are able to rotate, zoom and pan in full 3D so that you can get a better idea of what the product looks like. You can also drag components around using the move command and if you want to get them back in their default position you simply click the home button. If your SOLIDWORKS model contains an exploded view then this too would come across into eDrawings using this button here. However, if the original SOLIDWORKS file didn't have an exploded view, then eDrawings can do a default explode for you, simply by pressing Ctrl E. To get it back to the original position, you can either press Ctrl E again, or press the Home key. If you have eDrawings Professional, you have the ability to add markup, things like notes, or even stamps. eDrawings comes with a, a variety of stamps, things like Confidential, Draft, which you simply drag and drop on to the graphical area. You may notice that if you hover over a stamp, it actually tells you the location that eDrawings is looking for the uh, stamp file. These files are just image files, for example JPEGs or PNGs and you can actually create your own up. The default location to save these in is within your C drive, Program Files, SolWorks Corp, eDrawings, Lang, English. If you put your own custom file in there, perhaps your company logo, then you can simply drag and drop that on, like so. The stamp image is then permanent when the eDrawings file is saved, meaning that if you're putting this eDrawings on the web, or you're sending it to potential customers, you can be confident that it's always got your watermark on there.